Welcome to Church Pro's Media Tip. I'm David Hyman, and our mission is to share ideas on how your church can use technology to go beyond your church building. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you the latest way to interact with your church website visitors. I will be walking you through a step-by-step -step tutorial on how I created an AI greeter through a tool called Video Ask. If you have any questions about what you learned today, please leave them in the comments below. And don't forget, subscribe to our channel and receive notifications as we release more helpful videos. Now this one is gonna be a cool one, so let's get right into it. So when you usually go to a website and you go to the, trying to get some information from a website, you're usually going to a contact form, um, it has something like your name, email, phone number, and then you leave a message. Um, then sometimes you have websites that have live chat services where there's actually somebody live interactive. It's, it's very rare that you find that, but that can actually exist for churches. Um, then sometimes if you have churches that have more advanced interaction, you have something like a chat bot. A chat bot is usually when you like go to a support website, maybe a product you purchase and you go to support, it takes you to, to like a simulated chat. And then there you're basically asking some questions and based on whatever you type, it gives you some suggested articles that you can click on to read to find the information you're looking for. If not, you can submit a ticket, right? That's a little bit more advanced. And so the latest thing is called video bot service. It's kind of the same thing, but it's actually a, a human interaction where you basically pre-record videos so that based on what information the person's looking for from your church, you can say some information to them and interact with them so they get to see a face um, you know, they get to hear a tone instead of trying to interpret it through text. So it's very, very awesome. It's a very cool tool. And so um, what I'm going to do is show you this through a tool that I use for our, for our church called Video Ask. And so Video Ask is um, that service that gives you the ability to actually create this whole tool. And I'm going to show you how to build that out. But if you go to videoask.com, you can learn and see that video here when you come there. Look at some information that they have there. Um, there's some case studies you can show how it shows you how to embed how it works and then they even have some pricing they do have a free option if you do only three interactions with the video um, you can read up on that but it, it's only it's zero dollars but if you get to the more advanced stuff you have things that cost like 30 or 50 dollars and what I'm going to show you here is a lead generation for a church so this is a little bit more complex so we pay uh, a monthly fee but what's cool is they offer a, a church's 25 percent discount um, as an as an approved nonprofit so there's a link in the uh, description here you can click on that it'll actually have you go through this and then you can fill that out and, and whatnot and so before we actually go into the building of the video ask and how it works you want to make sure you get your account set up and uh, there's gonna there's a link in the description with that you can click on to register um, and that'll that'll help support this uh, channel here um, you know we get uh, of course some affiliate uh, support from the, the video ask themselves but this is a great tool I've researched different ones out there this is by far the best one uh, it's also made by Typeform any of y'all may not know who Typeform is but um, what we did um, is we used um, put first before we even did anything and we started to build this thing we started to write out our scripts so there's a link in, in the description as well uh, I'm gonna show you I'm gonna share my scripts that I actually put together for our church so that maybe you can grab them use them and then uh, just kind of rework them to how you would want for your church but this is what we did is uh, I put a welcome script right that has um, what, what I said and then if they were a first-time visitor we went through that and then and whatnot but before I do that matter of fact let me show you the website an example of how we did that so here at ChristianCenter.com if you go here down here you'll see this thing that says not sure where to start so if they click on this this is the video that's going to greet them right when they get there so this is like I said this is video bot they come here if they hit play there's going to be a greeting and it's basically me welcoming them welcoming them to the church and then asking them how I can help them and if they based on whatever they feel they can you know choose first time visitor sermon music they want to learn about our academy or daycare they want to see our calendar or the news rent our facilities contact uh, our pastors or ask a question they can do all that and ch pick one of these and based on whatever they pick it'll take them to the next video that we recorded so for instance if they click first time visitor it's going to take them to that video and then they can we ask them at the end no how could where would you li like to learn do you want to watch online videos do you want to plan your visit to come to church do you want to read about our beliefs do you need counseling don't want to learn about salvation or groups membership 
or they do, do they just want to go back and see if there's some other area so this kind of keeps going on and you can come go to the website christianshair.com and you can interact with this to see this yourself but i'm going to show you how we built this um and so back to the back to the script writing all these videos that you see here were pre-written right so we went and pretty much pre-wrote all these based on if they want to watch online videos this was a video that we made that was super short and mind you these videos are only like 10 to 15 seconds long it's, it's a lot of little videos because you're having a quick human interaction with them and we went through all these and we laid these out so I'm gonna share these like I said once again with you and uh, we used of course our video studio that we have here and we have a setup that I use uh, with the iPad called prompt smart it's an app that I recommend because I literally will copy all this I will paste it into this thing and then I would you know put a mirror on this software through the iPad and I can actually read it through the teleprom teleprompter so it makes it so much easier for me to do this and record these videos so just want to give you that um, information so you're aware when you get to shooting those videos how you do that but now I am going to show you how the layout behind the scenes is with video ads so when, once you get your account set up you can choose the interactions you want to do I would recommend you kind of scroll through the templates and see what they have in there gives you some ideas about contact forms lead generation an event welcome you can do feedback surveys you can use it to report an issue uh, job application forms applicant screening there's a, you can see the list here but in our case the way I did this was I started with the lead generation form to kind of do a lot of the pre-work for me so I went into this like that um, and I click I clicked uh, lead generation right so I am going to show you this one, one second so you can kind of see how this works so let's choose lead generation I'm gonna go ahead and click on this one and then um, you can use this template click use this template so it starts copying the template and then it's gonna have some pre videos that they they put together that they laid out but you can change this right so to copy the one that I did I would go here and then what I ended up doing is uh, let me minimize this a little bit so you can kind of see this a little better so they have a video that they've already put in there so I want to replace this one right so I'm going to replace it with the video that I already have so in my case I'm going to uh, go to my website here and I'm gonna to go to the different layouts I have here so all right, so we get here and I'm going to go ahead and click the welcome one. I'm going to hit open and you see how it's showing it there. Once I want to do it and I like it, it tells me the file is okay. I can hit continue and then it'll start saving it and it compresses it and does it, you know, makes it go how it wants to go. So in this case, remember I keep I keep this off. I keep the text small. I take off the darken because I don't like that. And then I go now to the answer and now I want to, by default, it already has multiple choice. So in my case, um, I'm going to actually pick the different versions that I have. So I will go to uh, first time visitor, right? And then I'm gonna click on my case, sermons, music. And I may do some typos here, but I'm just, for the sake of not making this so long, I'm gonna show you um, the different options here, right? And then I'm gonna do um, calendar and use. And then I'm going to do facility rental, okay? And then I'm also going to show you this one because this is important to um, ask a question. Okay. So once I do that, I have the answers that I want. And then I also want to make sure I go through this. I don't want to pick any of this. So I'm going to leave that just like that. Now I'm going to go to logic. And what I want to do is jump to a different video. So in my case, because I'm looking at logic, I want to jump to um, a different type of video. So this right here, um, in our case, is going to be something like, what we chose to be um, we want it to be that if they picked it it would be a first-time visitor so that means I'm gonna get out of it I'm gonna come here I've already picked that I'm gonna hit done I'm gonna come this here and I'm gonna make this a different video so I'm gonna call, put first-time visitor okay same thing I'm gonna make it a multiple multiple uh, choice question and then um, we'll go back to that in a few seconds here so I'm gonna actually put some different options here so that people can see it so let me let me show you that one second all right, so I would make this uh, watch online videos. And then I would go to do something like plan my first visit. And you can use any tools out there like, you know, text and church and um, different ones that they have out there that you can do to integrate to this too as well. But so you do church beliefs. You want to do something like request prayer. This is what, I, what we have. So I'm just modeling what we already had. 
All right, so we do that, and then um, same thing, I leave those on there, and I haven't done the interaction yet, so I'm just going to click done. But before I do that, I'm going to go to video. I'm going to replace this because I don't want that one. I want to go to upload, and I'm going to choose. Uh, in my case, it's going to be first time visitor, so I'm going to click that. I'm going to click to upload it, and then it, it has that title because I need to change it, but I'm going to hit continue. And then the way I change it, uh, once it comes up, is I'm going to see a tab right here It says video. Just click um, first time visitor. Okay. And just as a reminder, this right here is like the no for the notation of when you're looking at your diagram, this diagram here, this is the name that comes and shows right there in your visuals. But when you actually see the thing that actually comes across right here, it's the one that's actually in this area here, the overlay text of the video. So just remember that. Okay. So... Once you're done with that, um, you've now created two separate layers, right? So you have the welcome, and now you have the one here next for that. So the one I want to show you now, after that, is going to be like, say they wanted to come to, they didn't want to do first-time visitor, but they want to do sermons and music. So I'm going to click on this. I'll click on video. It's named as sermons and music. I'm going to copy that, paste it right here. I'm going to click replace. I'm going to upload my video and I'm going to come here where it says sermons and music. I'm going to load it and then uh, it doesn't look like that title took so I'm going to have to go back in there and change it again. So let's go right here and change it there. Okay. So then I don't want darkened text. I put done and then what it's doing is now generating that thumbnail for sermons and text. I also want to notate something that you notice on the original. I sometimes use uh, emojis. You can go to a website that I use called emojipedia.org. And you can look up whatever. In this case, I looked up this. I clicked on session face, but you can click on these icons up here. And then once you like it, you can hit copy, go back into the diagram like this. And then in the text, you could just you know, click in there and then hit paste. And then there it is. And you have that emoji there to add a little bit of flavor to it. I like to do that. So that's where I go and uh, what I use to do that. But in this case, like I said, once again, it's multiple choice. This is what we have here. And then after the sermons and music in our case we put academy and daycare and i'm not going to go through the whole layer of this because this could take this tutorial obviously could be very long i just wanted to show you the gist of how this works it, it continues to go in through layers and based on the information um if you look at it right when they get to the website the welcome greeting is and they, they pick from their menu and let's go back so you can see what i'm talking about if they go back to first time visitor that they get here first time visitors here sermons and music academy and daycare so this is what you're seeing right here you're seeing first time visitor sermons and music and then this would have been academy and daycare okay so these three things are those three options there so based on whatever happens here the nerdy technical way of learning this is the logic is that i want if they pick option a to go to first time visitor right and then if they pick um sermons and music i want them to go to sermons and music so oh, that could be this one sermons and music and then you hit done and so what ends up happening is when they click on that like for instance they click on this because you just saw me do the logic if they click on this now it's going to actually take them to the first and for, for first time visitor here right so let me uh pause that a little bit but you get the gist that's basically what happens is i've made it decide where it's going to go to based on whatever they answer so you can do different things like book a coaching session you can actually send it to a specific link so that you want to redirect them to a specific page on your website you can even do that as well so let me show you that like if you click on one of these and say one of the logics on one of them was to say come here I don't want it to go to any of the videos that I have I actually wanted to go to a redirect URL so like say I went to make it like our church website christiancenter.com i would do that and then when they click on that button it's going to redirect them to an actual website so it's actually sending them to an actual website and not another video so this is the way you can uh, set this whole thing up um, i hope that you have found this tutorial very 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 useful um, remember there's a thing of how to prepare the scripts below you can find out how to get that discount Use my link to purchase this video ask if you decide to do this more advanced video ask for your church. And uh, don't forget, um, at the very end, I want to, sh uh, when you're done with this, one thing that's important after you're done, let's go back to the uh, beginning. You can actually look at all your interactions. If you ever hit this button, 
you can go through all these different things to show you all the interactions that you're having with people coming to your website so you can see the different ones we have here um, you can even add contacts but what you want to remember is like for instance in lead generation or NLC, NLCC assistant which is what we call ours you can click this button to share and embed because you're going to want to embed it in your website so you just go to share and embed and then you can choose do you want to just like make them redirect to a link because if you make this basically share this link it'll direct them to that video only but in our case we didn't want that we want them to actually see it on our website not move away from our website so we used um, this tool here which is embed but you can also email it to people and you can put it in a widget but you pretty much decide down here what you what you want to include in the embedding of it um, and you can make it private and uh, do, do, do different things like that um, so once you do that uh, one thing I want to do tell you I do want to tell you before you embed it is on the widget tab here this is what you see down here this uh, let me close this out so this is the widget tab what they see visually before they even interact with it so this right here is like you can choose do you want it to be a square like that do you want it to be rectangular like this like, like that this is another option or you could do it like this as well then you do have the ability to choose whether you whether you want it on the bottom right or the bottom left over here on the left side of the website too and then you can even choose your color there's a ch church color that you have you can do that once you have done that you can hit get code and then uh, it'll show you how to embed it but that's in a nutshell how we did it we, we chose this one and then we picked it on the bottom right we chose this color you can also choose the ability to make it dismissible so if you do that there's going to be ability for them to hit the X to close it out if they don't want to see it I took that off because I always want that to be visible to them in case they they forget something because if you once they exit out they're not going to see it again at all right so we want to keep that consistent for them but once you do that you hit uh, get code and then you're going to see this come up and it has a code of how to embed it into your in our case we do we use WordPress uh, to design a website so you copy this in and then you know I don't want to go into the weeds of this but you can use a plugin like insert headers and footers and then you can insert this uh, into the body tag you see where it says add the code below inside the body tag of your HTML page you can do that and then uh, basically what's gonna happen is once you have embedded this into the website as soon as you load the website it's gonna be right there on the bottom and uh, you can have now your video ask interaction with people so this is how we've done it um, I hope that you've enjoyed this uh, tutorial remember if you haven't subscribed to our channel don't forget to do that below this really helps support and spread the word to other churches so that we can help them if you are in need of somebody to come speak at a conference I always like to put myself out there because I'm willing to uh, help people that need to learn about technology to help their churches once again thanks again for tuning into this video may God bless you and may you have a great day